Rainforest Cafe, Animal Kingdom, and then Disney Springs tonight at the House of Blues. You and I till the end, don't be too pretend. Welcome Royal Highnesses, I'm Dan, and welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all well. So, a little story for you to start the day. I am at Animal Kingdom, but I'm on my own. There's no David here this morning, and I'll tell you why. So, he's been a little bit unwell the last couple of days. His alarm went off this morning at the crack of dawn and woke me up, I think at about half past five, which I wasn't super impressed with, but he went straight back to sleep, and of course I didn't. So, I didn't want to wake him. Um, we we're all meant to be meeting here at Animal Kingdom Lodge, uh, Animal Kingdom Lodge? Uh, Animal Kingdom this morning for breakfast at Rainforest Cafe at 9.30. It's now 8.30, I've just arrived and David hasn't read my message yet so I'm assuming he's still asleep. So I don't think he's going to be joining us um, for breakfast, which is a little bit sad. Anyway, as I said, uh, we're going to Animal Kingdom now. I'm going to go for my daily search <laughs> that I seem to have every single time I enter somewhere. So I'm going to try and do a ride before breakfast. I'm hoping for the safari, but if the wait time's too long, it's unrealistic. I'm going to head to Dinosaur. Dinosaur's only got a five minute wait at the moment. So let's get inside the park. Today's going to be a really fun day. We've got Rainforest Cafe, Animal Kingdom, and then we're going to go back to Grand Floridian to get changed, and then on to Disney Springs for House of Blues tonight, somewhere that I've never been before. So come along and join us. I don't know what day we're on. I want to say day five, um, but that might be wrong. So come and join us for whatever day it is. Hello, I may have cracked it. I held my camera, my power pack and my phone out in front of me, walked through the... Uh, detector and didn't get stopped my first day not getting searched Woo and look what i just found hello morning good morning how are you you know i'm good i didn't get my coffee though you're looking good this morning oh, thank you and fingers really loud kilimanjaro is the farthest one a 10 minute wait i have to say that um one of the best times of the day to come on this is first thing in the morning because the animals are much more active before it gets too hot. Belgrade and Kudu have great big horns that extend off the sides of their heads by about 6 inches. Oh, Makes forest travel difficult. There's a couple of key differences here. For example, the panda dogs have four toes rather than five and they are Africa's most successful hunters are one of only two domesticated animals that make their home here on the reserve. While they may be livestock, the Ancoli cattle were not originally valued for any milk or meat production capabilities. On our left hand side, we are seeing that giraffe uh, attempting to eat the bark. Giraffes do love the bark from many trees. That's why you'll see some protective elements on those trees. Now, I know looking at them, they are certainly not white. They are gray. Uh, the name white rhino, it comes from, of all things, a mistranslation those cheetahs. Cheetahs can go from 0 to 60 miles per hour in under 3 seconds, and that's not even just their top speed, that's their acceleration. Today, a lion's eyesight is on par with that of an average human's. At night, it is six times stronger. So first ride of the day was the Kilimanjaro Safari, one of my absolute favorite things to do at Animal Kingdom. So yeah, first up today was Kilimanjaro Safari. It was really good. We had a really great guide today called Joe. She told us loads. There was lots and lots of animals about as hopefully you'll see in the footage I filmed. Albeit it's very bumpy so I'm not sure how much of it will make it into the vlog. We're now heading off to Rainforest Cafe for breakfast. This is somewhere I've never been before. I've always kind of discounted it. I think it was more of a family kind of kid place. But the menu there for breakfast looks really good. So we're going to give that a little try. Another restaurant ticked off on my Disney list. David is now awake. He's all right. Uh, he's going to make his way here, but for after breakfast, he won't make breakfast. So David will be here, hopefully for our lightning lane, I've booked for a flight of passage at 10.40. And just to introduce you to two other members of our Walt Disney World Adults Only family, we've been joined today by Walter Hello. and Ashley. They are married. Is it 15 years? 15 years. 15 years anniversary they're celebrating while they're here as well. But Walter works on our news team and Ashley's on our members team. So it's really lovely to meet them both for the first time today and to be having breakfast together. Okay, so we are now arriving at the Rainforest Cafe for some breakfast. It's 9.30 and I'm actually a little bit hungry, I've got to say. So let's go and check in. Oh, Jackie, I love the dress. It's really pretty. Very nice. 
Oh, look at me, I'm Good morning. You are, dude. Oh, you too? Good. Do you like my little... My Did you smudge your mascara this morning? No, there's little team? Mickey's. You're so weird, but I love it. <laughs> Now these have got to be the best stalls I've ever seen. You sit on them and you actually kind of become the animal. These are super simple. <laughs> Good morning, Titi. How was your exam? Yeah. Did you race it? Good morning, Lee. Good morning. How did you sleep? Hello. I, I was told I snored a lot. Oh, at Pop? Who told you? Your neighbours, reception or your roommate? My roommate. Oh. I think you look at her. Oh, I see. And they're ecologically done. They have a message. Okay. How look much at, are these? He's a kangaroo. I don't know. I didn't look at the price. I just thought they were cool. So and look at here's so the a koala. Elephant is ten ten dollars. That's not that's not bad for a stuffed toy, is it? No. The I kangaroo says save the planet on it. This one has climate change. This is a koala? Yes. So the breakfast menu here is actually really nice. We've got the breakfast of bandits, banana Foster's pancakes, Tonga toast, wild waffle, Aussie's omelette, steak and eggs. And they've got some kind of um, ranch options down there with some nachos. Then they've got some healthy options as well which I will not be partaking in. And then on the back, they've got some kids stuff on there and then some smoothies and some freezes and juices. Um, and if you're up for it, as Taylor probably will be, they've got some alcoholic options on there as well. So I've gone for the speciality smoothie. I can't remember exactly what's in it, but I heard him say it was coconut and raspberries. Pineapple. Pineapple. And they're all flavors that I really like. So um, I've gone for that. It's coming in a light up glass. I'm just debating whether I can take this glass home or not. Um, Jackie's telling me no. What? Carol's telling, Carol's telling me just to sneak it into my bag. Yeah. But she's naughty, so I think I'll listen to Jackie. <laughs> oh, that's, that, that's so good. It's really, really coconutty, which is one of my favorite, favorite flavors. That's so really, really great. I'm having pie with the viper, and I added bacon. It's got uh, tomatoes, uh, poblano peppers, green peppers, cheese, and scrambled eggs. Wow, very nice. Goodness, look what Taylor's got. This is the chicken and waffles. But Taylor, my first question is, how do you stay so slim? Luck of the draw, I guess. <laughs> okay, so I've gone for the banana Foster's pancakes that come with bananas, pecans, some scrambled eggs, some breakfast potatoes, and some sausages, some maple sausages. Oh my god, that was a real treat. You don't get breakfast like this in the UK. Um, sweet breakfast really aren't a big thing. You can get it in some places, obviously, get pancakes or waffles, but it's not a huge thing. So when we're in America, I will have a couple of kind of sweet breakfast. If you're coming to Animal Kingdom, there's not too many places here where you can get breakfast. So that's why we tried this really. It's a really good option. If you come here, give Rainforest Cafe a consideration for your breakfast. Um, it's not overly expensive. You'll quite easily get a table here, even as a walk up on most days. And sit down, take some time, have some nice food. So Sleeping Beauty has arrived. How are you feeling? Unshaven Sleeping Beauty. How are you feeling? You alright? Okay. Feeling any better? Just the same. Just the same. And Just how much a long lay in? It was alright. I didn't know about it, but it was alright. <laughs> so, how was breakfast? Amazing. What did you have? The breakfast of bandits, I think. Oh, was it the pizza thing? No. No. It was scrambled egg, toast. Uh, breakfast potatoes and sausage. Would you recommend it? Yes. So overall, for breakfast, I'm going to give the Rainforest Cafe at Animal Kingdom a seven out of ten. Um, it's nothing amazing, but it was really nice. And there is actually a place to scan into the park as you come through Rainforest Cafe. So if you eat in there, 
you don't need to go back out and back through security. You can actually just come through the gift shop of Rainforest Cafe and you can scan yourself into the park right here and it brings you round into Discovery Island. So our second ride of the day is going to be Flight of Passage. As I said before, we've got a lightning lane for this, $13. We're just heading into the Valley of Mawara. Hello. Are you looking forward to your flight? Yeah. Age before beauty. Go first, please. Wow. She's the oldest. I am the oldest. So to get it straight, everybody, I'm 68. Are you really? Yes. Oh, okay. Oh, no, you're not older than Carol, then. I'm only 65. <laughs> so at the moment, the wait time for Flat Passage is 110 minutes. We are not going to wait 110 minutes. We have all got... Um, Lightning lanes. Now this is going to be the best thirteen dollars I've spent today. Hi, you okay? Yes, sir, how are you? Very well, thank you. Have thank you. Been. Thanks, Corbin. Taylor, what's the longest you'd wait in a line for for a ride? So I I waited for a flight of passage. I want to say over an hour once. Really? So I think an hour would be my. Top that I would top do. limit. Yeah. After that, it's like you pay so much to be here. So much of that is just waiting in line. You're kind of wasting your money, I think. I have to say, I don't come to Disney to ride. You come to drink. Oh, to eat. yeah. This is the regular line. 110 minutes currently. We're gonna be five. B3 up the stairs, 5 through 14, B3 up the stairs. Leanne's going to get her parasites sorted out now, which is um, a good thing. Optimal. Machine levels look good. Oh, Can everyone see me? Yes. <laughs> Great. <laughs> Welcome to the Avatar program. Like I said before, you're going to be matched to these things called avatars. Once we do that, you'll be able to link to that avatar. And, uh... Fly! Help us out oh. and move so you're a part of the whole ride. If you follow our technician into the link chamber, you'll see a series of 16 link chairs. Please go to the number that matches the number you're standing on now. Your number. First, One number stow one. your gear in the storage right. containers on the back wall. Some of this flight might be intense, but trust your guide and be brave. As the Navi say during this important rite of passage, Sibak Hope, rise to the challenge. Oh, Taylor, are you ready? Yeah. I love it. Ready, ready, ready to what? To, to, to uh, fly. To fly. <laughs> <laughs> then get onto the wing chair the way we showed you in the video. Then put on your flight visors. For your safety throughout this entire experience, remain safe. Oh, it smells nice in here. Gracias. <laughs> Restraints activated. So just off of my favorite Animal Kingdom ride, Flight of Passage, and it was kind of amazing. Um, I've never been up the next level. I've only ever gone into the door on the kind of uh, level that you line up in. So it was nice to go into a different level. Um, we were split up. I could see David across. If I look to my right, I could see him. He looked like he had a great time. You loved it, didn't you? You could see by your face. So yeah, $13 for a lightning lane today for this. 100% worth it in my own opinion. Um, who wants to wait two hours? What are you laughing at? Is Carol being naughty behind me? No. Carol, did you like Flight of Passage? Oh, it's one of my favorites. I love it. You was a bit unhappy you didn't get sprayed in the face. I didn't get sprayed in the face, though. No. <laughs> I did get sprayed in the face. But this, um, this ride is fully immersive. I absolutely love it because 
not only are you feeling the kind of the animal breathing between your thighs but you really feel like you're there it's so beautiful the uh, interaction from the water and from all the beautiful smells they spray at you as well while you're flying through makes this uh, a top tier ride for me absolutely loved it and uh, hopefully we'll get to ride it again during this trip david yeah, yeah. And one of the best things about Flight of Passage is you come out of the gift shop. <laughs> it's quite a nice little shirt actually. Chicken $34.99. I probably wouldn't pay $34.99 for that. Sivako. A water bottle. Is it, is it a vestibule? It's a little cool it's a vestibule. How much is that that water bottle? I'm guessing 25. Pardon? I'm guessing 25. Oh, 27.99. Would you say it's worth 27.99? No. no, me neither. Is it like a like a crown set for kids or something? Is it? Yeah. yeah. How much is that? 24.99. Is that um real suede on now? I doubt it. For 24. <laughs> But we can pretend it is. It's a nice simple logo on the front and then the main actions on the back. That's cute. Yeah. Are you actually a pass holder? Yeah. Okay. I am. I wasn't sure. I was just checking. Uh, I am. See you See you So this is one of the creepiest things I've ever seen. It's a kind of headband and tail. How much is this? Oh, only forty nine ninety nine. Should we get two? One inch. What did you just tell me? Then? Nothing. Absolutely nothing. Oh come on! Don't be shy. <laughs> <laughs> They'll get blocked out by the sensors anyway. Yeah, you you weren't so timid <laughs> when the camera wasn't rolling. Well, that's I made sure I didn't see the little red light. What, what did you say to me? I didn't. What did you say to me? Well, I said to, I said earlier on that you love a beast breathing between your thighs. And I said I don't like something hanging by my butt. No, what did I say? I said oh. I said hanging by my tail. So we've given in and we've succumbed. We have now bought a Genie Plus for today. Um, it is 12 o'clock, so it's not the greatest time to buy your Genie Plus. You should try and do it first thing in the morning, really, and then start to stack your uh, Genie Plus passes for the day. But it's so busy here today, it's a Friday. It's Friday the 6th of October, and it is the start of a holiday weekend here in America. We've just got our first one, which is gonna be for Expedition Everest. That is currently a 50 minute wait. So just to give you an idea, on our last trip, we waited no longer than 10 minutes for it. We nearly pretty much walked on to that every time. We walked anyway. on pretty much every time. Today it's a 50 minute wait, and that's the same for every ride. It's really hot here as well. It's 30 degrees today. So we're a little bit sweaty, and I think we're gonna do the Lion King show later as well. That's a really good show. But we're not doing the Nemo one, because that's terrible. Naughty. Yep. <laughs> uh, excuse me. Yes. You are the I naughtiest am. person I, I know. I am not. You could ask any of my former students. What do you want between your eyes? Not man. <laughs> <laughs> she says she likes a beast breathing between her thighs when he we came. Said that. Whoa, okay, he okay. said that. Taylor, who said that? You heard her, right? No, he said I'm that. You said that. Don't lie. Adventurers and explorers. So, Keep a lookout for a high wrestle! Good bird that answers to Hi, the name dog. Kevin. Reports say she's been seen nearby. Oh look, we're back at the bar that wouldn't serve David last year. Just bring back good memories, David. I like shade. I was too uh, young looking. Youthful. So as I said earlier on, it's a really, really busy day here today. Look at all these people. I've not seen Animal Kingdom this busy in such a long time. Wow, we've even got people out holding up signs for the Lightning Lane. So now we are going on Expedition Everest. Uh, we used our Genie Plus for it and the wait is 50 minutes. We're going straight to the front, so that's all good. I scream 
a lot on this. I've never known you go skiing. Oh my god! Yeah. When did you last go skiing? 2020... 2019, I want to say. It was just before Covid, I went to Andorra. Okay. So, Liana, are you going to get this? No, I'm going to get this. How much is that? $79.99. It's a bargain. Why don't you get two? It's seventy eight dollars. That is super cute. Is it lounge fly? Yeah. yeah. This is gonna be the cutest lounge fly ever now. Teeth kids action, you're on. Okay, so I'm a little bit hungry because I missed breakfast this morning. Um, so I just ordered a half chicken with uh, chips and coleslaw from Flame Tree Barbecue. It was 13 49 so we're just waiting around to uh, pick it up now. You agree to get it? You had to be fast at dinner last night, didn't you? Oh my god! You were like a bloody pelican with that sushi, <laughs> weren't you? <laughs> It was very, very good. It was nice. Very nice. How was that? It's really good. And I'm surprised. I thought it was going to be a bit rubbish. Oh, did it's you? got like, lots of flavour. It's not dry. Yeah. That's good. You can actually see it's quite moist just looking at it. Mm. Actually, that's decent. That's good chicken. It's very good. The coleslaw looks a bit rubbish though. I won't be eating that. Oh, okay. <laughs> I don't need to worry about that. So we are now going on the Carly River Rapids. The wait time is 50 minutes at the moment, but we've got a lightning lane. Now the lightning lane for this ride is around the corner, as this sign here very, very nicely says. So we're going around the corner to get into the lightning lane. First time ever on this ride, and she told me she was never going to do it, and here she is, about to get drenched. Twisted my eye first time. Yeah, your first time as well. Yeah. Wow. We usually come in the winter and it's closed. Oh, okay. Not ready. No. <laughs> <laughs> No. Oh, hey, first splash coming, Taylor. No. <laughs> oh. Just starting, right? I can't believe you've not been on it before, you two. <laughs> oh no, we're not going back to the top. Oh. <laughs> oh my god! 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 Oh my god!
Stop! Oh my god, we have been telling on this every time! You think it's your daughter or your son or something? No! 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 You're lying to me! You're lying! <laughs> Bye Taylor! Bye. See you in April! So we've now finished at Animal Kingdom for today. It's nearly half past four. It was a really, really unexpectedly busy day at Animal Kingdom. Today on the crowd calendar said that it was going to be um, low crowds and it really wasn't it was probably one of the busiest days i've ever had at animal kingdom temperature as well today 31 degrees i don't know what that is in american temperatures it's been a hot day very sweaty uh, but a really great day so many of the team and different friends have popped up today popped in and popped out of the plans rainforest cafe for breakfast was good david had lunch at flame tree barbecue as you saw um, he was really shocked at just how great that was uh, we managed to do quite a few rides and because of how busy it was we ended up buying a Genie Plus as well which wasn't planned for today but for $15 I think it was well it was well, well worth the money we got about four rides out of it but yeah all together a really great day we had a few drinks um, I had that lovely Yeti ice cream that was the soft serve vanilla and chocolate soft serve with white chocolate Yeti on it but it's been so hot it's been so busy uh, but we finished Animal Kingdom, we're going to go and try and have a little dip in the pool back at Grand Floridian. Uh, see, I, I still struggle to say that word every time, don't I? We're going to have a little dip in the pool and then we're going to um, get a showered, get changed, head to Disney Springs. We've got a house of blues tonight, somewhere completely new to both David and I. Um, I don't really know what to expect, other than the menu's a little bit American, a little bit Southern. Um, so yeah, this should be quite fun, somewhere new. We'll probably do a little bit of shopping as well. How's your day been? Good. It's been all right. Just too busy for parks. And too hot. So this sculpture is made entirely out of chocolate. Can you believe it? It's a stunning, isn't it? I just realised in all the videos where I've talked about this building at Grand Floridian, I've been calling it Old Pine Key. But it's actually Big Pine Key. We are now off to Disney Springs for dinner and hopefully it's meant to We're going to House of Blues, aren't we? Looking forward to that? I think so. It's another place at Disney Springs I've wanted to go to for quite a long time, but never managed it. I, I tended to go back to the same places, trip after trip after trip, because I like them. <laughs> seated really really efficiently and everyone waited outside where I popped in to check in and the lady was like leading me to the table I had to go rounding back outside and say come on everybody in we go um, so we've got our table at the back of the restaurant there's a kind of bar area through there that's got some live musicians some live entertainment in there at the moment which is really cool and where we're sitting out here there's a bar over there nice kind of smallish dining room it's not like a kind of like a really kind of like extensive or really uh, high-end menu but this is what we came for tonight it's a bit of like nice music and some good southern american food so the appetizers they've got barbecue nachos fried tenders uh, and they've got a buffalo one that comes with a house made slaw and blue cheese dressing so i'm gonna have that on the mains they've got jambalaya which i didn't know you could get in the uk but apparently according to dal and leanne you can so they've got fried hot chicken some barbecue classics some ribs some brisket some pork they've got a voodoo shrimp and a load of different burgers and poured pork sandwiches 
So it's gonna be quite, I think, quite hearty food tonight. I'm really excited to try this. I've ordered a cocktail to start, a green gator, which is a key toasted coconut rum with a melon liqueur and pineapple. That's right, that's a, that's a bit of me, that is. Um, David, I guess you've gone for a beer. You're gonna go for the nachos and you're gonna have the barbecue ribs, is that right? Yeah. I haven't eaten anything properly since breakfast, although I did have an ice cream sundae at Animal Kingdom. How's that? So I'm gonna try the green gator now. Oddly, it's not green. Um, well, we, which doesn't sit very well with me, I've got to be honest. Why is it a green gator if it's yellow? Okay, that's not how I thought it was going to taste. It's not nice. Well, I won't be ordering a second one. Let's just put it like that. It's, it, it, it's all right, it's just... It's nothing amazing. It's probably the weakest cocktail I've had of the trip. There is alcohol in it, but not very much. of blues tonight uh, we've had such a laugh it's been so much fun but to summarize house of blues for me i would say one and done what about you one and done one and done yeah. it wasn't bad as such but there's just so many better places the menu as i said earlier on is quite basic the service wasn't the best although the guy was nice it wasn't great service we had kind of two tables put together, but one was higher than the other. So some people were sitting with their food kind of sloped across two tables, which was really weird. It wasn't an expensive meal compared to some of the others I've had on this trip. I will put on the screen how much it was. I can't remember. I think it was about $112 maybe for two courses, uh, two beers and one cocktail and a soft drink. So I don't think it was particularly expensive. But there was nothing about it that I'm going, oh wow, I need to go back and do that again. So I'm going to give House of Blues probably a 4 out of 10. So the bar is a, is a thumbs up, a yes. Go there for the music, for the live entertainment, for the drinks. Uh, but the restaurant I probably would pass. Although Leanne's going to love the way I say pass because she'd say pass. 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 They've been mimicking me all night, haven't they? Speaking the King's English. What's your score for House of Blues? Four as well? Are you yeah. just copying me now? No, that's what I was going to give it. Oh, really? But yeah, House of Blues, glad we've done it. Glad we ticked it off the list. Another one down. But I'm unlikely to return. Good morning. Well, it is now the next day. It is Saturday, the 7th of October. And we got back last night probably about 11 o'clock and we're so tired we forgot to film the outro very unlike me i know one thing i didn't say about house of blues is if you are going to eat there you're probably better off to eat in the bar area and not in the restaurant because then you will see the live entertainment although it finished really really early anyway that's the end of this vlog for today you'll see me in the same t-shirt in next week's vlog because i'm about to record the intro to today which is a really exciting day so um yeah anyway if you've liked this video if you like this vlog make sure you give it a big thumbs up Share. Sure, oh i'm wobbling all over the place there doing the thumbs up share it with your friends as well um, if you like our channel, please ensure you are subscribed, the little notification bell clicked, so you know when our videos come out. And there'll be another one next week in this same t-shirt. Anyway, only one thing left to tell you, and that is never grow up. <laughs>